doing a bunch right. of, you know what I mean? And then you yeah. get caught, caught, like, red-handed. Uh, so I have a platform, true or not, boom. And then it's up to, and, and so it's like you're really guilty <laughs> from the get-go, right? Oh, yeah, because of trolls. Yeah, yeah, but the, yeah, yeah. Uh, negative, uh, negative, negative no, news but, will but, spread, right, will spread but, faster. But, than... but shame is more important than actual innocence or guilt. Unfortunately, no. To the world, of course, that's what they like to see. They know, like but, to see but, misery. They like but, to see people's fucking right. downfalls. But they that, like to but, see that shit. Right, but that's the point now. It, it, it's more important to shame someone than actually whether it, the, the the shame on somebody is actually more important of whether they're guilty or not. <laughs> Right. Which is really sad. No, and people opinion. are a bunch of bullies. Yeah. Well, yes. Social media. The girl, but I wasn't... She took it to her own. She started going in this room I went on on the internet. And just, you know, showed her tits to some people. And then told them I was a fucking... I sold drugs to little kids or some shit. I was like, oh, you fucking cunt. Like, how are you going to do that? No, that's not even true. She right. Knew, she knew it wasn't true. But yeah. these people were fucking breaking my balls. Her boyfriend, you know what I mean? We, we fucking, like, we're sexually active, but... And all of a sudden, record, true or not. Right. And it's it's a fucking shame. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't do that. I don't... I, don't. I have puppets. You've seen my puppets, right? Oh, I've seen your puppets, yeah. Very good. So I have puppets... And I, when I troll people on the internet, I don't do it to break them down like that. I try to make their day happier. Right. I. Yeah, dude. I don't. I don't ever fucking put people down, dude. Like, when it comes to like, you know. That's the thing. That, you know. That, that's. My I, I. I don't like shit talking. I don't like banter. I'm not right. into it. I'm not into it, bro. Yeah. Never have been. I've told people that are like, people I've dated. I've said. I'm just not into that shit, dude. Exactly. Save and, it. And, and, and my whole point is, okay, let's just say at at the very worst level, whatever they're saying about you or whoever else or me, let's just say it's true. Right. Let's just baseline. Uh-huh. And they get that all that and they get all nasty. And let's just say you or I or whoever owns it. Uh huh. And says, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. Now what? Heroin addict, dude. What the fuck? Like, so it made me look more guilty. It, it, so eventually, I just said, fucking, yeah. Like, you know, I flipped it on him, dude. I'm all, so what? Like, you know, and he was so surprised that I fucking did that one day. But I don't do heroin. I just went with this fucking story, but the people knew I was just being facetious. Right. But, uh, yeah. I just remember the. Look on his face the first time I fucking disagreed with him. <laughs> he went, "Oh fuck!" Right. It was cool, yeah. but I never did heroin. Well, that's good, Tommy. Yeah. Glad you never heroin, did heroin. Heroin is a uh, heroin is one of those. So drugs. let's talk about your drugs. Let, what are the drugs you have done and enjoyed besides heroin? I mean, no, you've never done heroin. Never done heroin. Yeah. What's your thing? I do, but you smoke crack, man. And fucking mushrooms. I'm not. I yeah, I've done them. I just I'm not. I've had more bad experiences. Really? Yeah, yeah. See, that's my favorite. Do you uh, like shrooms? Yeah. It's, it's, I, I don't mind doing them if I'm with the right people, dude. I just like sometimes I'm with the wrong people. Yeah. You know what I mean? It becomes like, what the fuck, dude? You're you're trying to mind fuck me right now. You know, like. Yeah, I I think it's very similar to LSD. It is. It in, is. In term, I, just, I like acid better personally, but yeah. I, I, and I've only done acid twice in my life. Uh-huh. I've done mushrooms a lot. Okay. So do you like ecstasy? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've only done a handful. Of, I've uh-huh. only done X a few times. Well, yeah. Probably about five times. Or so. And uh, um, actually, funny story. The reason I got into mushrooms. Um, was because I liked ecstasy and it was uh, on a trip. Uh, three, you four, took, uh, three. Took them both at the same time. Oh no, no, not a trip like that. Like a like an actual trip. Traveling. Uh, traveling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it, it was uh, on a trip where um, went to some friends to, uh, with Europe for almost a month. I took some uh, ecstasy with me and our, our, our 
friends or my friends were um, very much into mushrooms, and I've done them. I'd done them before, but I was very much what your experience was like. Hey, I run the right people, right, right time, and all yeah, that because yeah. it's a very mental thing, right? Yeah, yeah, dude. It's, it's like yeah, but the thing. So with oh. that, with with ecstasy, and you know, being a, a DJ and DJing nightlife parties and all that stuff obviously everything is available right but especially in the house music scene a lot of uh, E Molly E and Molly are interchangeable same same right same same name different brand right right is Um, it Molly like more like a pure MDMA form or I've heard both actually I like regular just regular fucking like Three triple stack ecstasy, bro. Used to be. Yeah, it, it just depends. I mean, honestly, it, it's, I've done Molly, it, dude. I never did, never got. To, it, it made me feel like I'm almost there, but I need a little bit more. It's also it's all a semantics thing, because honestly, what people refer to as Molly is powdered, right? Capsuled, right? But you can get just like cocaine. You can get amazing cocaine. And then, then you, you can amazing. get shitty cocaine. Right, same thing. It's the same thing with Molly. You right. can get an amazing Molly, or you can get it all cut up with a bunch of fucking... With heroin. And, 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 well, not heroin, <laughs> but, but like... Uh, uh, I forget the name of it right now, but it, it's it's like this fake amphetamine uh-huh. that, that gives it's you... Cut a, with like uh, speed. Yeah, so. get, yeah, it's speedy. Makes you, it gives you a, a, a Molly-type feel, but it's very short-lived. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden, you come cra- crashing back down. So... So that's why when it comes to um, ecstasy or MDMA, I actually prefer um, pressed stuff. You know, stuff. What that, is that noise? I don't know. I hear birds in the background. Is that like a fucking like geese or I don't a know, dog? I don't Whatever know. it was, man. I don't know, man. We're talking about mushrooms and yeah, yeah. Geese fly by. So <clears throat> my point is, I, I was on this. Uh, What? Sorry. My point is, I, I was on this. Uh, um, You'd like to take what? What was it you were going to say? Yeah, uh, mushrooms. But I'll, I'm trying to tell you how I got there. Is is I was on a trip to Europe for about three weeks. And the thing about ecstasy, based on body chemistry, it, it can only work for so many days in a row. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Same thing with it, LSD. Right. You have to take two yeah, the next it, day. It, three. It, it, Poor. You, yeah, and then after, after a while, it just stops working because uh-huh. it depletes all your serotonin. Your serotonin is what regulates your mood and your happiness and all that. And then, you know, you you, you stop taking it, and all of a sudden you have a serotonin deficit, and two days later you want to blow your brains out. Right. Right? You're, you're, you're like, yeah. Exactly. So so the difference with, with that in mushrooms is, is mushrooms uh, is natural. It doesn't deplete your serotonin. It's psilocybin, so it, it acts um, with different receptors in your brain. Uh-huh. And it, for me, now it's different for other people, but it, or different for everybody. But for me, it, it would actually simulate a little bit of the um, the same um, of ecstasy, of ecstasy, like the role, what people call the role feel. However, it, for me, it, w- it would be enhanced by the way my my uh, uh, brain would communicate in neurons, and I would problem solve differently, and I would look at issues differently. I would, where I would respond a certain way, I wouldn't respond like that because it was like, oh, well, that's not really that big of a deal to me anymore. And and it's amazing because um, when you go look at um, when they actually did studies on uh, mapping the brain with magic mushrooms psilocybin in, in, and the way the brain fired the the part of the brain that controls the ego fires completely oh, down well not completely down but if you're a troll it's, it's firing the least out of all the parts of your brain so you being important or you being like having the last word or you being have, having the best thoughts is not the most important thing anymore. Right. And then your brain is communicating differently. And then for me, physically, I felt the same type of body higher I would as, as a... Uh... Hello. Goodbye. As a... Uh... Time to go. So... 
But yeah, yeah. So that's on that uh, on on that trip to Europe is really when I when I learned the the how amazing mushrooms were because you know we were there for almost a month and then ecstasy stops working. You're like, okay, well I want to try something else. And but the thing about mushrooms is the more you do it, the better you come, the, the better you become at it. And I, and I mean that because. Like you and like me in the beginning, a lot of people have, oh, I've done mushrooms two or three times, but I don't know if I would do it again because it's very easy for your head to go to a negative headspace or, you know, it's, yeah, it's I mean, different. It, it's, it's a hallucinogenic. I've never had a bad trip on acid. That's like, yeah. You know I mean? I've seen people have bad trips on acid. Yeah. On shrooms, I just have this bad fucking just stupid shit happens, man. And I'm like, dude. And then it, it just... Feels like it's like put back on me for some reason. I just I don't I don't understand. I, no, I could give the, you I could give you an example, no, no, but but that's a very that, but that's a very common mushroom experience. I'll tell you that right now. Like I I just bought this telescope right, and I bought it for this girl that was doing cam modeling. Yeah, with me. Um, and we took some mushrooms right, and I, I got on my rollerblades. Don't judge me. And I uh, and this and the moon was fucking huge right and I told her hey bring the telescope out to the parking lot and just look at the moon and then she was bringing it out and then she said something like you can't move telescopes they break it's broken now or something right and yeah. it was like what the fuck do you mean it's broken <laughs> it just got there like that day yeah well, you can't move them you can move a telescope right it, and it just Fuck with me all night, man. But that's that was, a, that's yeah, one yeah. example, but. but but so that's the thing with 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 mushrooms. The <clears throat> you know if you if you haven't had a lot of experience with them, it's very easy to obsess and fixate on one thing. Right. Yeah, and it could be great, or or it could be devastating. Or, or, no, one or time I had a wand. Right. I had this like, yeah. wand, dude. I'm all, you ain't shit, dude. This this, this right. right here it makes you the shit. You can't have like, and I drop it on the floor. I'm all, hey, touch it, dude. It makes you fuck it. Yeah, you know what I mean. It is like, it may, right? Like so, makes you powerful. That's what they, it was like. You know what I mean? That was that thing right there was funny as hell. And so the, the, then the more you do it, the more calibrated you get to it, and you understand. Oh wait a second, this is this is a drug. I can move. Right, I, right. I can I can reach for a better thought. Right. And move on past that. And right. Not, and not dwell on. Oh that. yeah, yeah. I, I've, and, I've, I've learned to do that and, on acid. Dude. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I think, I make the best of, of every even bad situation. Right. So it, it, it's it's not any, any different than that because it's because um, you are alone when you're on that shit. Really, when it comes down to it, it is your own trip. For sure. Yeah. You mean no yeah. matter what? But the beauty of it is, is for me, is, I've had some good mushroom trips. Like, yeah, some fucking really good ones. Don't get me wrong. I'm, like I saw some shit. Like the most hardcore. Hallucination I've ever seen on mushrooms. Yeah, over over all the acid I've taken. Yeah, I saw some a lot of weird shit on acid though. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy shit. But I saw on mushrooms in my mom's backyard. My buddy fucking was out on the back and he was looking at the house, right? And I was like, "What the fuck are you looking at, man?" He's like, "Dude, the house has lips, right?" And I, and I was like, "I seen them. The whole <laughs> fucking house was like lips, and it even lit." It went like that and shit, right? Yeah. And then I fucking focused, and I saw a bunch of people having sex. And he was seeing the same shit. Yeah. Like, we were seeing the same thing, right? And then and I was like, going, what? Dude, fuck, dude. And I look over, and he's way in the corner. In the corner by the pool filter, right? So right. I was like, what the fuck is he looking at now? Swear to God. It was a three-dimensional. <laughs> Harry and the Henderson's head, dude. No joke. <laughs> In the midair, midair, going like this, like you know, smiling, just like Harry and the Henderson, Harry. Yeah. So I broke this branch. I broke this branch that whatever made that up. Like I was like, that's impossible, dude. And, and, and I killed, I killed the vision. Don't ask me why, because it was so, it was so real, dude. It was so weird. Yeah. And when I did that little bit of DMT. That tiny, tiny bit of DMT that didn't let me blast off. It took me back to that trip in my mind, dude. It took me back to that Harry and the Henderson 
Henderson. Henderson's thing. I relived that, and then and then it showed me that that thing had feelings, yeah. and it was showing itself to us, and it was it, it broke it, it, it. Feelings were hurt when I broke that branch. Interesting. How insane is that? Yeah, I mean, it's not insane to me because I can understand how that would. It's so weird, though. It took me through that whole like experience, and it was all in my my head. But it went. This showed itself to you, and its feelings were hurt because you broke because. It felt you didn't right. like it. whatever it was. I don't right. know. I'll explain it, but I was so, like so fucking then, tripping on it, dude. I was like, oh my god. So then that makes you wonder if there are certain drugs like mushrooms or DMT or whatever it is that can you get DMT? I have not done DMT. No. Can you I, get DMT? Oh jeez. I mean, I'm sure if I really tried. Damn, I wanted to try it so bad, man. Yeah, so, because you know Joe Rogan talks about it. Oh yeah, he talks about it all the time. And a couple of times, a couple of his stories are like. I mean, I have personal friends that have done it. Yeah, I have too. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's, I I wonder if there's certain types of drugs, <clears throat> hallucinogenics that just. Um, Allow you to see the truth? Yeah, allow you to see When you're the on truth. acid, when you're on mushrooms, or, oh, I'm on acid. Or I, allow more. you to see just a, like a, 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 a just... It feel, I feel yeah. like when I'm on that, those drugs, I, I understand. Like, you can't put it in the words, though, Like, but you understand the bigger picture. 100%, yeah. Like, you... you you get it, like, yeah. and you could look at somebody. You could try to explain it, but they'll, they'll, like, my buddy. I was trying to explain this shit to him. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, yeah. He is. He's like, I, I got. I get. I yeah. Exactly. He goes. He agreed, dude. He was like, yes, but yeah. I couldn't put it into words. Yeah. No matter how hard I tried, you know. But it was like, you just realize how. I don't know what's. When when you're in that moment, it, you. It all makes sense to you, but you can't put it into words. You, you just how small we are, like how big every, like you know what I mean, like you kind of get like we're like a network of like energies or right. I don't know when you look up in the sky when you're on mushrooms or shit, you see like shooting stars and you see a billion like a grip of them. <laughs> like how the fuck is that happening? Like you could see the constellation lines connecting and shit. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, it's well. I haven't seen that with the stars constellations personally. Maybe you because... go out to like the go out to the woods like camping and do them. Have you ever done that? Um, well, first of all, I don't like to camp very much, but I have done a lot of mushrooms outdoors. But you've never it... seen like the, it looks like there's a globe around the world, like a, like a gl- glass. No, I haven't seen that. But but I I've, usually a lot of times that I, that I do the mushrooms outdoors, it's during the daytime. Oh, okay. And I, I how I, much do you usually eat? Just depends. Depends on what I'm going for. Depends on you know the environment. Depends. A lot on, of people do this thing. Uh, the salt tanks, like yeah. they float. Yeah, I've done that, but I, they dig microdose on mushrooms. Yeah, I, I've I've um, I've tried that uh, just one time with the mushrooms. Honestly, I don't think it was. I I don't think it was with. Anything. I think it was just the. Just did it. Just I to, just did it. Just to. Yeah, but they say to do like a micro dose. I don't know even know what yeah. that means. But was that like a less than a gram? Oh yeah, way less than a gram. It's it's like a, a quarter of a gram. That's oh, that's it. Yeah, it's a tiny bit. Yeah, it's a tiny bit. Yeah. Do you it, feel that? Well, you don't feel it necessarily in terms of um, a perceptive experience of any type of colors, halluc- hallucination or right. colors. Um, I think why most people microdose and I've microdose is your just the way your brain works and how you look at things, how you problem solve, how you react, or how you anticipate. Uh, more importantly, how you anticipate, and and you see a little bit of a difference with that, but you don't really feel a difference with anything that 
you so might it's like a body, impaired. like a body high kind of. Like Not even a body high. It, it's it's um, it's it's right before you feel any type of impairment. Okay, you know, even in your your head, like the way you think. You mean loud ass cars? Um, well, no, I think definitely the way you think. I think that's why people microdose. People microdose. So that's that's the the first thing that changes. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's the first thing that changes, but it's very subtle. It's a. Um, so doing so doing the salt tank and then taking a microdose, closing your eyes would make you meditate maybe better. I don't know. Is it that I, what I, the salt tank's for? Is like meditation? Yeah, it's for for uh, quiet meditation. I did it one time, um, and and I'll be honest, I I. It wasn't that big a deal. How long were you in there? Well, I had like a whole hour session. By the time I was in there, forty minutes or thirty-five, forty minutes. You're like done. You're like. I was that. done, yeah. but in in, in in not that I didn't enjoy it, but in fairness, during that. Is it black? It's black. Completely out. black. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I like that yeah. type of shit. I used to but, go in my garage and yeah, just sit but, in black. But I would do it again, just simply because in 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 uh, I wouldn't want to judge that by my experience because. I, it, my personal headspace and what I was going through at the time was completely different than where it is now. Than where it is now, right? I, I would definitely like to try it again, where I was more in a calm headspace. Right, yeah. right. I've never tried it before, so I just know. Yeah. One of my homie up in Toronto t- was telling me about it. Yeah. He was telling me about microdosing and doing that, and I was like, he's like, he's a chemist though. He he does something in the world of marijuana. Yeah, testing marijuana and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, not a pot guy, so I, I don't know much about that. Really, not a pot? Never been? No, I mean I've tried it. I've tried to like it, just like I try to like beer. I just can't do it. You're a vodka guy. I'm a vodka and all the other drugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, like what other drugs? What do you, what do you, what do you like to do? Well, um, no, obviously I talked about mushrooms, but. Um, you know, I, I recreationally, I, I've, I've learned to do the drugs for what they were meant to do. Right. You know? I, I don't like doing the drugs just for the sake of doing them. Right. You know, like if uh, mushrooms, I feel it's something I can do by myself um, or out and about. Uh, ecstasy is obviously like a very party drug, you know. I haven't, I don't, I haven't done that in a while. But Coke, speed. Yeah, well, I don't think I've ever done speed per se. Uh, I think I've had a lot of drugs with speed in. Yeah, <laughs> it, right, right. No, no, but, but, but even Coke, I like, like, um, you know, I have a lot of friends that do it, and, and uh, especially in the, <clears throat> the industry I'm in, you know, it's it's very, very. Yeah, prevalent. It's, it's, it seems like it's everywhere. No, it's every everywhere and prevalent, but. For me personally, uh, I, you know, I I don't get a high off of it. I I will do it if uh, as what I feel as I needed in terms of what it does for me and like okay, I've maybe drank a little too much and I need to right right sober up that's, or yeah that's like, like, usually what yeah it's funny yeah. you spend all this money to get fucked up and then you, yeah, you want to come yeah. back down yeah you want to come back down and you want to like feel alert but stay uh, you want to keep the party going a little bit yeah to like six seven in the morning yeah, but but i i'm not a fan of like oh i gotta go I'm not a fan of any drug i gotta go back every 10 minutes to do no and, that's that's, and, that's and, and, and i'm feel, not a fan of that either yeah and, and i feel like unfortunately coke is is one of those i always have to go back right for whatever reason yeah, and it's it's yeah. Like if I feel like I need it, then I'll go do it. But you know, I I don't like I don't I like, don't really I, I, don't, I don't purchase this shit. I, you I know, don't really like ch- chasing any type no. of high. You know? Everybody always has it, you know. <laughs> yeah. We found a pile of it on the toilet the other night. On the toilet? In the, in the men's bathroom. Yeah. Oh well, I'll pass on that. Thanks. Someone left a pile of it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. It's like, dude. Are you sure it was Coke? Yeah, it was Coke. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Well, that's the thing. You gotta be. You gotta be very careful these days because it's like it gets. It could cut. be fentanyl. <laughs> yeah, and it fucking kill you. That'd be fucking nuts. Damn, or, they or, thought they were doing coke and the people left fentanyl in yeah, the toilet. Or, or it could be fucking ketamine, and then you're. What? You thought you were going to sober up for the next ten minutes. All of a sudden, for the next thirty minutes, you're in. A K hole. A K hole. Yeah. I've only done that once, dude. I was already wasted, so I don't oh, remember what happened. That happened to me a couple of weeks ago um, when I was uh, DJing in Hollywood. Somebody offered me a bump, what I thought was a bump, right before I got on. Only when I took it, I realized like, <coughs> whoa. And I asked, and it was it was ketamine. I'm like, shit. So it lasts like a half hour, you said? Oh, it lasts like a half hour, and not just that, but, you know, I knew my, my ketamine experience is very limited, but I can tell you this is that um, I, I can, once the ketamine hits, I can I can barely use my cell phone, <laughs> let alone DJ. fucking DJ in front of a nightclub in Hollywood. So, so, so you had to, like, postpone that shit a little No, I, I, I uh, had to get a friend to come up and help me. <laughs> I was there. Really? Yeah, it was not. It was, was it crowded? Oh, yeah. And it was not. Call forward. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I learned, seven, let's five. just say I learned. If you're a troll, I advise you not to call that number. Not, not a night that I look up on. The hills, buddy. Not up on as, uh... Just like uh, that pigeon yeah. flew away right now. It was a, it was Watch a what you take, I guess. Yeah, it was a shitty night because I take what I do very seriously. And I feel like I'm fucking very good at it. And Somebody's gonna might be there, listen to me for the first time, and all of a sudden they fucking yeah, yeah they did yeah, fucking yeah. Like, oh, so, this guy fucking sucks. Exactly. So it was it was very uh, personal to me, not with anybody else, just with my own experience of of learning. Like, okay, I'm not gonna do that again. Yeah, man. This guy, yeah, that had to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. What was a bump like out of a bullet or a fucking? Well, it, no, it was uh, right before I got on. I was in DJ booth. There was a bunch. There was usually a lot of people back there, and it was um, literally like the weekend right before Burning Man. And there was like these girls dressed up as like burners, and they had like these, I don't know, these hoods on and these goggles, and. Uh, the moral of the story is never take, never take drugs from some girl in cockles in a nightclub. <laughs> yeah. Ketamine. Yeah. So I thought I thought it was blow just because it was an after hours and I was going on later. So I'm like, okay, I could use like a little pick me up. Right. And it, no, it wasn't. It was ketamine, and ketamine is uh, different. Tranquilizer, isn't it? Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. It's it's whatever you think coke is. It's the opposite of that. Yeah. Right. It makes you feel drunk. Uh, I wouldn't even know if that's the right word for it. How do you because describe it, a K hole? Because I've 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 DJed drunk before and and, and been great. Uh-huh. Uh a K hole is more of a honestly it, it's if you've done LSD before it's it's similar to an LSD LSD trip. Really? For, yeah, but it doesn't last as long. You know, it only lasts 20, 25 minutes. So you're seeing visual, like hallucinations? You're it? seeing uh, hallucinogenic, uh, yeah, yeah, hallucinations, and it dissociates you from your body. So it's like you feel in your body one moment, the next moment you're not. Uh huh. Yeah, and yeah. When I did it, man, I was already wasted, so I I, I don't remember it. It's yeah. like, like I woke up in my bed the next day. It's, yeah. It's like what the fuck? Yeah, so that's that's my whole point of like. I wish I did it when I was sober, so I could know exactly what it felt like, you know. Yeah, so that's my whole point of what I was talking about earlier is recreational drugs. You know, it's so easy to everyone. Oh, let's just do all the drugs. You know, but then in the end, and what's the point of that? Because you don't you don't feel shit, and then you don't remember what is what. Right. You know. So. No, don't do. Just take one, right? Or so, so two. do it, do it, do it <laughs> for, two. do it, do it for what you're, what you're shooting for. That's what you should go for. But just don't do it all for fun, you know. 
Yeah, man. Yeah. Shit. You ever go out to the jacuzzi, man? <laughs> no. Which jacuzzi? The one at the Madison's. Yeah, I live there. Yeah. You never go out there? Yeah, I do. Okay. I've never seen you out there. I go out there every night. Every night? Pretty much. Oh, wow. I'm a hardcore jacuzzi. I can see that. Yeah, I like it. Like, it's therapeutic. You soak? Not really, dude. I, I, I just like to talk to people and meet people and see if there's any girls and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's the reason I go out there. Well, yeah. A lot of a lot of things we do in life are for certain reasons. Revolve around women. Sometimes. Isn't that weird? Fucking powerful, but I believe in the power of the dick. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't bring up my tattooed dick, though. That's. No, you brought that up. Not me. I know. <laughs> about maybe you would bring it up. <laughs> they all know about it. Did a podcast about it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Went into two podcasts Fuck it I was so like Because it's so long <laughs> Yeah Yeah Long podcasts Well But no but yeah I'll have to go back And listen to those Yeah and, Oh yeah the girl The girl was on the first one. Oh yeah but Except there was a stupid Sound effect on That was on During the recording d- During the recording of it Yeah And uh once it's once it's recorded like that, you can't take that shit off. So, yeah. so remember that show V, V for Visitors back in the eighties. Yeah. Remember how that like the lizard people talked? They had like two voices. They had a voice and then like a voice behind them. Right. Kind of sounds like that. Uh, Irritating as fuck. Though. Can't take it off. Like your like your dick tattoo. Can't take it off. <laughs> I forget it's there, bro. Like you, you know what I mean. I guess my question is, I I mean. I don't want to get into this weight too much about yeah, your, no, yeah. your cock tattoo. Yeah. Um. But how do you? How do you? What, well, so many questions. But tech, a technical question is when you do it. I ha- I've only been with one person. It hasn't been the girl I put her name on. Okay. Well, actually, two two people. That's a, okay. Well, that's a whole different question. Yeah. I'm just saying when you actually administer the tattoo. Yes. Are you soft? I pulled this, pulled it, and then tattooed it. Okay. But and, and it doesn't. It's the same like size basically the whole time. Like even if it wants, it, you know what I mean. So it's like a magic trick. It doesn't blow up like a fucking balloon. <laughs> like you know, you think it go. No, yeah. Don't do that. You can't tie it like an animal balloon. <laughs> no, dude, no, you, you, no it's, it's, it stays the same fucking size. The the writing, which is like, make me a bicycle clown, like that. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Okay, all right. Hey, look, you brought this up. Now. I did, okay. I did, I did. And I, hey, there's any you no know, shame in my game because I used to do cam modeling. You know, I have zero tattoos. Zero. Mm-hmm. I got a tattoo gun and I went stupid with it. You know, cam modeling. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's like chatter, but you know, like live live sex shows. Okay, just you by yourself. I tried that shit. Yeah. Um, on one side, I made, I made you know a little bit of little bit of money, dude. I didn't. It made, it's kind of uncomfortable because it's a lot of guys. Like you know, what I mean, uh, a lot of guys and shit watching you. Yeah. But what difference does it make if you're on the other side of the camera? I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? On the real, like, I, I mean, I, I there's certain things I won't do. Yeah. Like, ever fucking, nothing, no booty play, none of that. Like, like what? I mean, I, like, I, I no used to, like, play. I, no, I don't fuck with my own ass or some shit, like, you know what I mean? Okay. So, I, like, one person, for instance, would just wanted to come in, he's from Germany, he'd always come in and, and they'd want me to put my feet up to the camera. Okay. And I, for yeah. like four, like a fucking hour, dude. So you had a you foot know? fetish. He did, yeah. Yeah. What does that pay? For like an hour? Yeah. It was like a, like $186. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I had a guy once, like my friend, my friend uh, Trisha was over. And he, I, they barge, when they barge in, like people, like when, on, on one site, you can't get naked unless they go private, right? You can't do shit. So this guy, he, he didn't want me to get naked. He said, I'm, hey, dude, I'm married. He was in the chat. He said, I'm married. Can you just lift up your lift up your shirt and stick your belly out and say, "Honey, I'm getting fat." 
<laughs> Swear to God, he had me do that for fucking like 45 minutes. Yeah. How many times? I just kept do- saying it, and I was laughing. Like, I was like, fuck. Honey, I'm getting fat. My friend was looking at me. She was like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah. Wow. But, yeah, but no, but I used to make a lot of money with this um, neighbor of mine. Yeah? Yeah, we made like, we make, like, a, we make a thousand bucks, like, in two days. Yeah. But then when she would get, she would start moving my shit around my apartment, and it would piss me off. And then when the money would come, I'd go over there and pay her. And then she'd come back over. We'd do it again. And it's happened over and over again for a long time. But, but yeah, that shit was fun to me. I, 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 I enjoy it. I have, like, 25, 26 girls signed up to do it. Yeah. But it takes a certain, it takes a certain person to be able to talk to the chat, keep people entertained. And, so you need two people to do it, is what you're saying? No, 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 no. Well, that's where I made the money. It was like it was a couple show. Um, oh, so you guys would fuck on on camera, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, on chat, well, on a different site where you could do whatever. There's a trick to doing all this stuff, right? Um, but she had the gift of gab, man. She was like, you know, a bartender at the W Hotel for a long time. Um, and so she knew how to just talk to these people. Some girls, I make mean, they didn't. You have to entertain the people that are watching you. You know what I mean? You have to have be yeah. able to do that. You have to read the chat, pay attention. Like you know, some some girls just go straight to shit. I mean, dude, that's not how this works, dude. You know, you just start sucking my dick or something on camera. Like, right. you're giving a free show at that point. You know, like you know, you got to work them in. You got to you got to roll the dice. They have to fucking get have a goal. You know what I mean? Get to, like, this many coins, then the panties come off, or whatever. You know what I mean? There's a trick. There's ways of doing this. And you have to, like, have a good moderator. And I happen to have a really good moderator somewhere in Europe that I was introduced. I think he came in the room, and he asked if he wanted a mod. And he knew how to get, like, 4,000 people in our room. So it was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. I I, I enjoyed it. Yeah? Yeah. Because, I mean. Have you done it since, since the tattoo? No. no, 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 I haven't done it. Dude. And, and I haven't had anybody to do it with. But, I mean, I now now you could do it on your cell phone, dude. They have a, like an app. You could do it on the cell phone or whatever. But That's pretty easy to do now. I know I, I, I know some girls, some friends that have done it. What up, what up? I know. I, yeah, and it's, yeah it, there's, it's, it, there's a lot of money in it, dude. It's taking out the porn industry. Yeah? You know what I mean? Because you get to know the person. You... See, I, it fucked me up, though. See, I can't, uh, I can't normally, like, I can't just watch porn and masturbate, like, anymore, dude. So I'll go into, like, my free cams, find, like, a Colombian chick for, like, ten, brand new girl. I'm Colombian. Are you? Yeah, I'm not a chick, though. Yeah. I have good friends that are Colombian. Um, we're fun. We're, we're a good time. Well, the girls are hot. Like, I want to go down to... I'm Go down to I'm, fucking Medellin for a minute. That's where I was born, Medellin. Really? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Something now, Monaco. <laughs> Some new stuff. There you go. Um, but yeah, uh, that's what I do. I'll, I'll give them like, whatever to do, like it's cam to cam, dude. It'll be it'll be like. Uh, like two, a couple bucks, like twenty tokens or some shit, and then yeah. when they they always think it's gonna be some fat, ugly dude and shit. When they see it's like a decent looking dude, they get all happy and shit. Then right. then we always have this conversation about like like them coming up here or me going down there, but nothing ever stems from it, you know. It's just, right. I don't even know what happens to a lot of these girls, man. Some of them make you know keep going doing it, but a lot of them I see just they disappear. Yeah, well, I mean, it's if you're talking about girls down there, or really anywhere, I'm, you know, I, I'm sure the opportunity they they. You get think it's to, like human trafficking type of shit? <laughs> no, I mean, Is it forced I to mean, do it? Who knows? Maybe there's some of that. Maybe some of that is free will. But um, I also know that you know, probably, you know. Girls don't fall out of the womb and say, hey, I want to be a cam girl. <laughs> no, they don't. No. Oh, yeah. So maybe the opportunity they get to do something else, you know, they've made enough money, go to school or start a business, then they, then that's what they do. 
you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, but like, what's the, what's the, like, longevity of a career in the cam industry? Yeah. But it's not even about that. I mean, it's... I mean, yeah, some people's fetishes are, like, older women, I guess. No, but but I'm talking about from a from a female perspective. Let's just say let's just say you're a, you know you're a fucking hot, amazing, beautiful, twelve out of ten girl in whatever country you're at, whether it be in the states, right, somewhere Europe, Colombia, whatever. You know, you have this opportunity to make all this money online, and I have some friends. And no judgment against them that, that you know they'll make more than a thousand dollars a day. Right. Oh yeah, you can make online. ten thousand dollars, whatever. Uh, right, whatever and, and no judgment, but but you know for them it's it's an individual choice of like yeah I know I could do that but it's not what I want to do. Right, right. You know, so you why gotta, because you gotta respect because, that too. Yeah, of course, but for whatever reason, it doesn't matter what the because is. Right, right. You know? Uh, some people just give up before they even start, you know. Or some people don't even want to do it at all. Yeah. Because shame. No, it's not even the shame. It, it's it's uh, it, maybe it's shame, but maybe it's like, oh, that's not what I want to do, and money is not that important to me. No, right? No, no. I've I've, I've met met right. those. Right. But so, they all say, yeah. No. Well, it's weird. <laughs> I swear to God, they hit me up and telling me they're like. You have too many people that are signed up for this. I'm like, well, you... And I told them three times, you know, I think they're still on there. I said, you can take these ones off, man. Take them off. Because you, you never know who's going to come back in your life and shit, you know? Right. Who's, I think it's an adrenaline rush. I get an adrenaline rush out of it. Yeah. And, and, and like I said, you know, there's... Everybody does things for... for different reasons at different times. I never thought of myself doing that ever, you know what I mean? But yeah. then it was like, I talked, I, 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 my, my friend, she's a, a respiratory therapist. She got out of school. She couldn't, she couldn't um, find work. And I'm like, well, look, you could do this, you know? Yeah. So when she started doing it, I don't know, dude. I was like, fuck it. Uh, you know? Yeah. Cause I I found I found out about that shit back in like oh five. I was dating this girl that fucking did that shit. You know what I mean? And, she, and it was at first it was like kind of weird. You know, it was like yeah. I would do the camera work for her and shit for a minute. Well, back in oh five, like online dating was weird. Now it's normal. Right? Yeah. I, yeah. I was. I mean, shit. Yeah. I wish we would have did fucking a couple of shows back then. It was shit. Would have been fun. <laughs> the way I look at it. Uh. Yeah. But I see I see a lot of the shit where like people look uncomfortable. They got like fucking like five six girls in like a room with like one guy maybe. Girls' facial expressions give up, give away like their truth, you know. Well, yeah, because like I just said, probably then you have the girls that totally love this shit, right? But I mean, everybody. Some people are kind of cut out, cut out for certain things. Some people aren't. Just, I guess like in everything else, right? Yeah, and and, and not just that, but. You know, just because you're, you're, oh, just timing in life is everything, right? So, like I just said, there, there, there's some girls that are okay with it and some that are not. There's some girls that are okay with it at a certain point in their time and a certain point in their life. Right. You know, and then all of a sudden that time changes. And of now, course, and of course, not. of course. You know, so it's, it's, you know, just because you expect one person just because one person does something at one point in their life doesn't mean that you should expect them to always be like that. No, true, true. I understand that. You know? Yeah. So, it's... It must be tough being a, a girl, a woman in this world. Especially in an environment, you know, you look like... Uh, <laughs> Uh, all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. No, but, but but especially in countries where you know, say what you want about America and people shit on it all the time, including people in this country. It's it's honestly the the best place on earth where where it's more uh, the 
most level playing ground in the world no matter who it is but if you're in some countries where it's not like that and you're a beautiful girl then that's the only option you have to try to make something for your family or right, for right, your right. kids or whatever so right. you know you can't a lot of that stuff going on like Romania and Romania and Russia and exactly so. what's that 90 day fiance no <laughs> <laughs> no mail order brides that's, that's the next episode <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Walking dogs around the waist. The dog's walking her. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. About to hit the jacuzzi, though. All right. All right. This has been amazing, Tom. Amazing. Until next time. Maybe <laughs> next time we'll actually talk about music. Yeah, we should play some. Do you have any, do you have any of your own shit? No, with me. Okay. Huh? I mean, Coming up, 90 Day Fiance? Yeah, 90 Day Fiance, next episode. Coming up. With Mindy. Coming up at next hour. The jacuzzi. <laughs> the jacuzzi with Tommy. Thanks, buddy. All right, man. Thank you. Rich Catalog, man. Check it. <laughs>